Praise the Lord. It's a great day and we are happy to be with you. Thank you for being with us. Please stay and we believe that God has a big plan for you. Meron siyang master plan sa buhay mo. A plan filled with victory more than you could imagine. Hallelujah. But the question is, how can I know the plan of God for me and receive that promised victory? Yes, hallelujah. Kaya our topic for today is walking victoriously all the time. This is Pastor Jay Nasuelo greeting you. A blessed day. If you want to know what you're going to be five years from now, amen, meron kayong dapat gawin. Check what you are doing now. Anong ginagawa mo ngayon? Amen? Alam nyo, walking in victory all the time is a promise of God. Pangako ng Diyos yan. But it will not happen if you do nothing in Christ. Kung wala kang ginagawa sa Panginoon, walang mangyayari. Sabi nga ng 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, but thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It just means that victory is simply living a life characterized by fellowship with Jesus. Yun ang tunay na tagumpay. Amen? That's, that's no small task. Hindi maliit yan. But the reward are great. Hallelujah. Kaya nga, victory comes from knowing who God says you are. Amen? And walking in it confidently and freely. So, if you want to enjoy victory every day of your life, there are some things necessary to do to achieve this. May mga bagay dapat tayong gagawin. Remember, we miss a lot of victory because we miss a lot of God. Yun ang totoo. Aminin man natin ito, hindi. Yun ang katotohanan. Amen? That we miss a lot of things in this world we miss a lot of God's promises because we miss God. Amen? We are looking for the blessing and not the blesser. Amen? We are looking for something and we are not looking for the source. We miss a lot of what God wants to say to us to become victorious. Amen? Kaya nga, why is it today that we still see many Christians going through life, living in defeat, and never experience the fullness of joy that God has promised. Alam nyo, simple lang sagot. Okay, I'm not saying this to condemn others. We are all, we are going through some testings, we're going through some troubles. Pero alam nyo, okay, if you're following God, there's no issue. I mean, if you're having something with the Lord, there's no issue. But if you're going through tough times, and without God, this is a simple answer for us. What are you doing with your relationship with God today? Ano ginagawa mo sa relationship mo sa Panginoon? So, if you want to be victorious so today, we will learn how to walk victoriously all the time in all aspects of our lives. Amen? So, if you have a scripture, please, okay, magbukas po tayo ng ating kasulatan sa Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 12. Amen? Yung pamilya sa inyo, Jeremiah 29.11. But we will read verse 12, yung kasunod nun, and verse 13. Kung maganap na ito, kayo'y tatawag, lalapit at dadalangin sa akin at diringin ko naman kayo. Kapag hinanap ninyo ako, ako'y inyong matatagpuan. Kung bumbuso ninyo ako nga hanapin, oo, ako'y matatagpuan ninyo. Sabi ni Yahweh, at ibabalik ko ang inyong kayamanan. Tayo po'y manalangin. Father God in heaven, thank you for the words that you have poured in our hearts. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the care. Thank you for the provisions. Thank you for this message. I pray that it will be in our hearts. Filled with your glory. Filled with your honor. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, tanong. How to have victory all the times of our lives? Number one, you need to seek God. It's very important. Amen? Most people are satisfied to get up every morning, gigising lang sa umaga, pupunta sa trabaho, amen? uuwi sa bahay, manulod ng TV, magbubukas ng social media, matutulog ulit. But if you want to take a definite step toward your destiny, amen, and reach what God has prepared for you, this is very important. You need to seek God. That is the secret in living in God's master plan. Kailangan natin hanapin natin ang Diyos. That is the secret of living victoriously all the time. 
Amen? Kasi may sa business tayo maghanap sa ibang mga bagay, pero hindi natin hinahanap yung nagbibigay ng mga bagay. Sometimes, you are hit by a lot of question. Ano kaya kasusunod, Pastor? What should I do? What path should I take? Amen? What does the Lord wants me to do? You don't have to be spiritual genius to find the answer, amen? You don't have to be an expert theologian, amen? Or an experienced Christian to know what God wants for you. Alam nyo, sagot lang, you need to seek God. Lahat naman tayo, amen? Nagumpisa sa wala. Amen? Ano man nakikita nyo sa akin, nagumpisa rin ako sa wala. And all these things are product of seeking God. Kaya sabi nga ng Jeremiah 29, verse 13 and 14, You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. O, di ba? Di ba lang nun. Kaya the scriptures made it clear that when you seek God, He will be found. Matatagpuan siya. So, kung nagtatanong kayo, Pastor, okay, paano ba hanapin ang Diyos? Okay, start with having relationship with God through Lord Jesus Christ. Pakipagrelasyon lang tayo sa Panginoon. It's simple. It is. At first, maaring ma-overwhelm ka ng yung feeling ng maraming problema. Kasi habang lumalapit ka sa Panginoon, minsan maraming problema eh. Amen? Alam mo yung demonyo, hindi ka papayagan yan eh. Maging makadyos eh. Amen? Dati kang kakampi, kaya there will be a lot of challenges and troubles that may hit you probably. Amen? Amen? Pero huwag kayo matitinag. Just go on with the relationship. Amen? Parang si isang relasyon lang naman sa mundong ito, di ba? Minsan hindi lahat pabor sa relasyon nyo. But you go on. Amen? Amen? Minsan, we may look back at the mistakes you have made in the past. Pero you need to continue with your relationship with God. Amen? And later on, habang nagpapatuloy kayo sa Panginoon, you will be able to figure out What God wants for you. Do mo makikita habang nagpapatuloy. Alam niyo dati naman, ayoko magpastory. Pero as, as go on with the Lord, doon ko na-realize na, oo nga, no, tinawag nga ako ng Diyos. I'm doing things na parang ayoko, ko, pero ginagawa ko na pala yung ayoko ko na maglingkod sa Panginoon. Pero sa start, to lang, you may be clueless. Because you may not know nothing about spiritual things. Parang ako lang, di ko alam, maraming bagay sukol sa Panginoon. You, you, may not have, not, you may not have learned much about the Bible. Maari wala pa nagturo sa iyo about the power, powerful truths about the Word of God. Pero alam yun, alam ng Diyos yan eh. And God has a way to help you because He has, He made provision for people in that condition. Amen? Kaya nga, ano man kalagay mo sa Panginoon, at nais mong lumakas sa Diyos at hanapin siya, mayroon provision ng Diyos para dyan. Okay? Pero tatandaan po natin, sa bawat tagumpay na pinangako ng Panginoon, sa bawat pangako niya para sa atin, I mean, hindi yan mangyayari if you will just sit around and wait for it to find us. Hindi ganon, no. You need to step up seeking God even many things are unknown to you at first. Kahit hindi mo na unawaan lahat, hanapin mo lang Panginoon. Amen? You have to go after God with all your heart. Talk to Him like you talk to a friend. Amen? Kung sabi mo ang Diyos, hindi naman kailangan ng magagandang salita. Amen? You just talk to God. May gusto ka, sabihin mo. May naramdaman ka, sabihin mo. Amen? Pour out what is in your heart. Then, magbasa ka ng Bible. Even you can understand. Pastor, ayoko magbasa, hindi ko maintindihan. Magbasa ka kahit hindi mo naintindihan. Because sooner you will see light to all your questions and start to fulfill what God wants for you. Amen? Kaya nga, sabi ng Matthew 6.33, But first, and most importantly, seek, aim, at, and strive after His kingdom and His righteousness, His way of doing and being right, the attitude and the character of God, and all these things will be given to you, sabi sa Amplified Version. Pag sinabi ng Diyos na seek, sabi ng Panginoon, seek, sabi ni Jesus, seek first. When God says seek, He means you to inquire. Amen? For, amen? You inquire God. And another is, you require His presence, you require God. Amen? His presence as your vital need na ang, ang Diyos ang talagang kailangan mo. Amen? We know that we need things and other things. 
ka iyo nag finances, you need health, you need other things. But you need His presence more than any other things. Amen? Kaya nga, it just means that, okay, you need to include God in your life. Once you na-realize yung mga bagay na ito, you will find time to search God. Amen? And His words also, no matter how busy you are, magiging seryoso ka sa paghanap sa Panginoon. Amen? At palagi mong sinasama ang Diyos sa bawat desisyong ginagawa mo in everything you do. You go to work, you, you, kasama mo ang Panginoon. You include God. I mean, you do your business, you include God. You negotiate with other people, you include God. You take care of your family, you include God. You minister, you include God. Even though ikaw'y nagpapastor na, amen, you are not exempted to include God. Don't make, amen, hindi lang tayo mga, sabi nga nila eh, sa paglilingkod eh, hindi, it's, it's not about profession. Amen? It's about including God. Amen? In what you are doing with the Lord. Kaya nga, gigising ka na maaga. Amen? You spend time with the Lord. Amen? You, you, gigi, uh, magpapalit ka ng tulog sa gabi para hanapin mo ang Panginoon. Pipiliin mong patayin yung TV. Pipiliin mong uh, i-stop mo ni mga Facebook at social media natin just to be with the Lord. Amen? Obviously, sa totoo lang, it takes some effort. May effort. Amen? Pero sinasabi ko sa inyo, we cannot afford to be casual Christians because we will miss the fullness of God's wisdom and plan for our lives. Marami tayong mamimiss kung casual lang tayo. Amen? We cannot just show up in the church once a week, amen? sing song and listen to preaching and say hallelujah, praise God. Amen? Yes, amen, it is good na gawin natin mga bagay na yan. Amen? Because it is also a way to seek God. But, yeah, sabi ko sa inyo, kulang. Okay. Any measure of seeking God will always bring a certain amount of blessing. So, church ka, may gumanta ka sa Panginoon, may blessing yun sa Panginoon. But, if you want to live a powerful life, a victorious life, amen, operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, see great things in your life, Itong binibilin sa atin ng Panginoon. Seeking God should be our pro- number one priority. It should be number one priority. You need to make a lifestyle of going after God for yourself. Hindi lang tuwing linggo, but every day. I mean, you go into your car before you drive. Lord, guide me. Keep me safe. Cover me by the blood of Jesus. Let your angels be with me. And let your Holy Spirit guide me wherever I go. And that is including God in everything in Jesus' name. Amen? We need to put God, amen, in our life. Make it a lifestyle. Amen? So you must be determined to get to know Him personally and find out what He, he was saying to you. Kaya nga, when you seek, hindi lang itong paghanap. It's not just trying to find or or to 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 inquire, amen. But meron na kung gusto idagdag. It is about research. We research God. Yung talagang ibig sabi ng ano yun? Ibig kasi dati you search, yes, that's seek. But we keep on doing it. Yeah, we research, we research, amen. We not just we. It is not about knowing Him, amen. It, hindi lang sa isip, but we research to fill our heart with God. You search it. O, oh, alam mo na, no linggo. Now, on Monday, you research God. Amen? The more you research God, the more victory you will find. Kaya tell you, nothing in your life is more essential than knowing what the Bible says because it is the revelation of God for you. Kaya nga, hindi yung salita ng Diyos. Ito, basahin natin. Amen? Nandiyan yung naisin ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Because the Word of God speaks to us and show God Himself to us primarily dito sa mga written word ng Panginoon. Yan kasi ang susi natin in connecting in the will of God in our lives. Kaya nga, tanda nyo, as you seek God, research Him with all your heart. Alam nyo, 
God's plan in your life will begin to unfold. Makikita niyo yung plano ng Diyos. Saan ba kayo binapadala ng Panginoon? Saan ba kayo gagamitin ng Diyos? Anong plano ng Diyos sa pamilya niyo? Anong plano ng Diyos sa negosyo mo? Anong plano ng Diyos sa mga ginagawa mo ngayon? God will unfold everything and you can walk on it and live daily victoriously. Hallelujah! Yeah, that's number one. You seek God. You seek God. You seek God. And number two, you listen to God. <laughs> Amen? One of the common mistakes believers make pag sila'y nagpe-pray, alam nyo ka, no? Is that they do all the talking. <laughs> Hallelujah! Dal-dal tayo ng dal-dal! Amen? Oo, wala namang masama doon. Amen? Telling God about your problem. Telling God what you're facing. Amen? Pero, I want to put something, put light on these things na nilibili ng Panginoon sa akin. Spending all your entire prayer time talking to God, then saying, Amen, without taking time to listen to what God has to say. Amen? Hindi mo bibigyan ng just ng oras para pakinggan. Amen? You will miss what God wants you to do in your situation. Mamimiss natin. Kaya kung ikaw dal-dal ng dal hindi ka nakikinig sa Diyos, sa puso mo, okay, you will miss a lot. Meron na palang gusto ipagawa sa iyo, Panginoon. May, may warning palang Diyos sa iyo. May mga bagay palang inililid sa iyo ng Panginoon. Dahil ikaw ay potak ng potak, you will not do it. And if you will not grab it, you will miss it. Sabi ng Jeremiah 29 verse 12, Then you call, you will call on me. Sabi ng Panginoon, verse 12. And come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. I mean, pasinin ng Panginoon, nag-pray daw tayo sa Panginoon, nakikinig siya. So, there's nothing wrong with saying everything. Because God is listening. So, ito naman ang kondisyon. If God is listening, why we can't put time to listen to God? Why can't you give time to listen to God also? Hallelujah. Dapat nakikinig din tayo sa pa. Nakikinig pa lang Diyos. Hindi dapat nakikinig din tayo. Kaya remember, ang pananalangin is not meant to be, is meant to be dialogue. Dialogue, nag-uusap kaya nga prayer is talking about God. In talking, is one-sided. Ba, hindi. It's not a monologue. So, if, if you don't know what you should be doing in your situation, you need, ito lang, kailangan mo makinig sa Panginoon. Amen? You need to listen to God. When you pray. Paano, Pastor, yun? Di ba, pagkatas mong pray, sabi, Lord, etc., etc. Lord, ganito po, kailangan ko po na maraming ganito. Tulungan niyo po ako sa aking buhay, tulungan niyo po pamilya ko, etc. And at the end of the, the prayer, Lord, meron ka bang gustong sabihin sa akin tungkol sa mga sitwasyong sinabi ko sa iyo? That's how. Then you keep quiet. Attentive to the Lord. Amen? Yes, amen. Sabi nga ni Paul, you need to pray as Apostle Paul prayed. Sabi niya sa Panginoon that uh, that God to fill you with knowledge of His will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Amen? Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Amen? Napunuin tayo ng Diyos ng karunungan and we will just receive that wisdom when we, amen, when we listen to God. It's not about just talking to God. Just listening to God. By now, tanong pastor, paano ko makasigurado ang Diyos na nangungusap sa akin? How can I be sure that God will speak with me? Makasalanan ako. Dami ko ang kulang sa Panginoon eh. Amen. Alam niyo, pa nag-pray kayo, nakipag-usap kayo sa Panginoon, nakinig kayo sa Panginoon. That's one step of humbling yourself to God. Amen. Another, magsasalita ang Diyos sa iyo dahil sinabi ni Jesus Christ Sabi ni Jesus doon sa John chapter 10 verse 4. Amen. Sinabi ni Jesus, siya ang good shepherd and we are his sheep. Tayo mga kanyang mga tupa. And sabi ni Jesus, and his sheep knows his voice. Alam ng kanyang tupa ang kanyang boses. So ibig sabihin ko alam natin ang kanyang boses, naririnig natin ang kanyang boses. Amen. It may not be as audible as other experience. Hindi man natin yan naririnig daily sa tenga natin na may nagsasalita. Amen. But surely, tatanan nyo, God will speak in our hearts. Diyan sa loob. God lives in our spirit. He dwells in our spirit. The spirit of God dwells in our spirit. Amen? 
And God will speak to us in our hearts through leading, through promptings, by His written word. I mean, pasin ninyo, bakit minsan kapag kayo nagkakasala? Dapat di minsan sinasabi sa'yo, mali iyan, mali iyan, mag, huwag mong gagawin niya, magkakasala ka. Sino yun? Na di minsan na parang may huma, pumipigil sa'yo na huwag gawin. It is God speaking to you. Amen? Giving you victory. Kasi alam lang, Lord, kapag napasok ka dun, magiging talunan ka. Amen? So, mari hindi nyo napapansin nyo. Akala nyo, konsensya nyo lang. No. It's God speaking to you. And, tanan nyo, when the Lord speaks to you, it is always bounded by the Word of God. Kaya mahalaga lang, babasa rin tayo ng salita ng Diyos para hindi tayo nadadali o nayayari o nadadaya ng kaaway. Sabi pa nga ng Panginoon ni Jesus, sabi niya, when the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on His own, but will tell you what He has heard. O kita nyo? Sasabihin sa atin ng Espiritu Santo, He will tell you about the future. John chapter 16, verse 13. Kaya kung alam natin ang katotohanan nito, kailangan nating we need to take time to listen to God pag tayo nagpe-pray. Hindi lang puro dal-dal. <laughs> Hindi lang puro salita. Kinig ka din. I mean, walking in victories is knowing what God wants for you, learning His master plan. And knowing His master plan is listening to Him. Because nakinig ka na, you seek God. Amen? I nasa Panginoon ka, nasa presensya ka ng Diyos. And what you're doing there is not only saying what you want. It is listening. Kaya don't just talk, but also listen. Alam nyo, nung ako i-inordain na pastor, I mean, okay, I was young. Para maging reverend, I mean, kaya nga, Lord, reverend, kagalang-galang. Sabi ko, hindi naman ako kagalang-galang, Lord. And I'm young, sabi ko sa Panginoon. I can still remember, I'm still age of 21, okay, 22, okay. I was young. And I was saying to the Lord, Lord, I'm young. At marami pang mas magagaling sa akin. And attaching the word reverend, it's only for you. Hindi yung karapat-dapat sa akin, Lord. Pang sa'yo yan. Amen. Pero alam nyo, as I, sp- I, as I pray to the Lord, one day, na malapit na yung ordination day namin, sabi ko, Lord, I'm young. But the Lord speak in my heart. Hindi ko narinig yan sa tenga ko, but in my heart, there's a leading, there's something that is prompting in my heart. Amen? Na minsan hindi ko inisip. Sa totoo lang, hindi ko inisip. Minsan, al- madaling malaman ko sa Panginoon. Eh. Yung hindi mo inisip, pero parang tong. <laughs> Amen? Deep in my heart. Amen? Sabi lang ng Panginoon sa puso ko, Anak, hindi paramihan ng kaning kinain yan, kundi palakihan ng anointing. Grabing word ng Lord. Hindi paramihan ng kanin na kinain, kundi paramihan ng palakihan ng anointing. At first, sa totoo lang, hindi ko naintindihan yun. But later on, I realize. Amen. Ano ibig sabihin nun? It's not how old you are. Hindi yan usapan kung gaan, ano na edad mo. Kung 50 ka, kung 20 ka, kung 18 ka. It's not about age. But how, how big God will be in you. How big is God in you? That's the anointing. Amen? Ibig sabihin, hindi mahalaga kung marami ba ako kinain kanin. Kung matanda na ako. Ang mahalaga, yung sa asama sa akin ng Diyos. Hallelujah! Kaya today, to God be the glory, after more than 20 years, it's almost two decades, I'm 43 today, glory to God, and I still serve God. Hallelujah! Glory to God for the opportunity to serve God. Amen? Kaya nga, alam nyo, bakit ako nandito? Kasi, despite of all the troubles, amen, meron din mga problema, marami rin challenges. Misa may panahon na parang ayaw mo na. Pero alam nyo, but kami nag Because you know in your heart, kinausap ka ng Diyos. Misa pa nga, may panang sa Panginoon eh. Okay, this, in prayers yan na. Eh. And I talk to God in prayers and listening to Him. Meron din, may araw din naman na I pray to God. And sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, what is anointing? Bata pa talaga ako noon. I don't, hindi ako Bible school graduate. <laughs> Totoo lang dati. Kaya wala akong alam. Sabi nga nila, graduate lang sa Hard Knock University. Malakas na pagkatawag ay Nibon University. Yung pray ka lang ng pray doon ka nagtatanong sa Diyos. Until such time, the Lord open opportunities na makapag-aral ako. Amen? Sa mga theological school, salamat sa Panginoon. Sa opportunity. But nung ako ay wala pa talaga alam, I just read my scripture. I pray to God. Holy Spirit, guide me. 
I ask God, Lord, what is anointing? Narinig ko yung anointing sa pastor ko eh. Narinig ko ito na pinilip. Ano ba ito anointing? And I was young, I don't know much. And I keep asking God, Lord, what is anointing? And one day, amen, kita nyo, grabe no. Hindi ko man narinig sa, sa pananalang. Pero one day, the Lord, I have a dream. And someone taught me about anointing. And I sabi doon sa panaginip ko, the anointing is the spirit. So when I woke up, I write it in a paper kasi baka makalimutan ko agad that the anointing is the spirit. Amen? And I saw, okay, later on, as I, I researched the scripture, I saw a verse regarding that dream. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, kaya sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag may reading ang Diyos sa inyo, check niyo ang word. Amen? If you have some dreams, check niyo ang word. If the Lord has prompted you something, check the word. Amen? And I saw it in 1 John chapter 2, verse 27. 1 John chapter 2, verse 20. For you, the anointing you receive from Him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you, but His anointing teach you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught to you, remain in me. Anong anointing na nag sa akin? That's the Holy Spirit. And the anointing is the Spirit. <laughs> amen. When the anointing is, Amen. Hallelujah to God be the glory. The yoke is destroyed. Praise God. So the next time you pray, don't just pray hard. Okay, yun, wala nang issue doon. Don't just pray hard. But give God a chance to speak to you. Baka na siwag pray. Amen. Yan kasi minsan na namimiss natin sa mga corporate prayers. Maganda mga corporate prayers kasi we, we are praying in, in tune with God. Nagkakaisa tayo, we agree one another. Pero alam nyo, when you pray, this is something you need to add in your personal prayers. Pag pray kayo sa Lord. Amen? Is you allow God, give God a chance to speak to you. Kasi maraming Kristiyano, they miss this. They miss a lot. They miss their victory. Even financial prosperity, they miss. Amen? Kasi hindi siya nakikinig. Tandaan nyo, hindi pa katay kayo tapos mag-pray unless you listen to God's instruction. Kung wala siya instruction, eh, praise God, it's okay. Pero kung may instruction ng Panginoon sa iyo, amen, you need to listen. Naninig ko nga isang testimony ng isang pastor sa South Africa, nabasa ko yung story na to. Bumili siya ng isang old warehouse. Ang plano niya dyan, i-renovate at become maging kanyang ministry headquarters. It was a huge and real mess talaga yung lugar na hindi maganda. Kaya pag titignan mo yung project niya, it's going to be expensive. At wala siyang idea Paano niya babayaran, itatayo yung pinapagawa ng Panginoon? So, nagplant siya ng seed. Tandaan niyo to When you plant seed, you expect blessing. So, nagplant siya ng seed. Sabi, ang nagtanim, aani. So, nagtanim siya. He planted financial seed, expecting God will bless him in return to complete the project. Alam niyo naman, hindi naman para sa kanya, kundi para sa Panginoon. At the same time, habang ginagawa niya ang tatanim, he kept praying. Nagpe-pray siya. Amen? Pa- about the project, and one thing he's doing, he is listening to God. Lord, where will I get the funds? Lord, lead me where it will be. And one day, he asked God again, where the money for the project was going to come from? Saan mang gagaling, Lord? Then in his heart, di ba niya narinig sa tenga niya, but in his heart, the Lord saying, the money is on the floor. Grabe. The money is on the floor. Hindi niya maintindihan. Lord, ano yun? The money is on the floor. So, hindi niya. So, anyway, even though he could not understand it, he proceeded by faith. Sabi niya, sa Panginoon na ito, kagawin ko ito. Amen? He, he proceeded by faith with the renovation. Amen? Nung tinanggal nila, Amen? When they rip out the building's old floor, Yung sahig, yung lumang building. They discovered the subflooring. Okay? Yung subflooring ng floor na yun was made from a very precious kind of wood. Hallelujah! Ibig sabihin, yung iba pa ilalim noong flooring nila, yari sa isang napakaganda, precious kind of wood. And those woods are perfect for making guitars and fine floor furnitures. Kaya yung mga pa- company, to be honest, they are looking for that kind of wood and they pay big price for it. Yeah, to make the story short, okay, 
the wood from the subfloors turned out to be worth millions of dollars. Grabe. Tama nga sinabi ng Panginoon. The funds, I mean, the money is on the floor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Paggabi. Okay, no? Nandun. Plop. The money is in the floor. In the floor. I mean, grabe. Kaya nga, minsan, pagbabalik-balik kami mga kwento ito na mabasa, I mean, masarap makinig sa Panginoon. Kasi He is there. I mean, kaya sa biyaya ng Diyos, nung nabenta yung mga, tama nga in eh, hindi on eh, in, tama nga in, in the floor. Kasi nasa loob ng floor eh. And He will able to finish the project more than enough to fade the, comp- the completion of it. Kaya truly, the money is in the floor. He found it because, ba't niya nakita? He listened to God. Kaya God has great plans for you. He wants to walk, who wants you to walk victoriously all the time. So, kaya pa nag-pray ka, ask God to give you wisdom. Amen? You need to receive everything na kailangan mo. Then, you listen to Him. He will tell you what you need to know and what you need to do. Kaya nga, huwag nating imimiss kay lahat ng pinangako ng Diyos. Put time to pray okay? and, add ko to, and listen. Hallelujah. Kaya bilang pangwakas, sabi ni Lord John sa Jeremiah 29.11, yung pinakapaborito niya. Binasa kasi natin kanina eh. 29.11 verse 12 to 4.13 and 14. Sabi ni Scripture, For I know, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29.11. Kaya God has a great plan for you. Sabi ko nga yun, tawag namin dyan, He has a master plan for you that will bring you to prosperity and future. As Jeremiah 29.11 says. But the question is, how to walk in that God's master plan? Paano ba humakbang sa master plan na yan? Amen? And to have victory all the time, yun, tinuro ng Panginoon sa ating first, seek God. God knows everything. So rather, seeking your desire, seek God, who can give you all your desires. So, okay, ibig sabihin, nahanap mo yung mga kailangan mo, nami mo ang Panginoon. That's number one. Number two, listen to God. God has the answer to everything. Kaya, bakit ko alam sa Panginoon pala? Kaya, ko alam pala ng Panginoon lahat, may sagot siya sa lahat, eh, why not give God the opportunity to speak to you when you pray? Kaya, be diligent. Listen diligently to the Lord. Kaya, kaya today, if you do this, I believe and declare that you will experience victory all the time in all aspects of your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for being with us. At naniwala ko, we will not end this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to accept Jesus. Alam nyo, sabi ni Pak- ng Panginoon, Amen, walking victoriously it starts with having relationship with God. So if you want to have that relationship, Okay, please follow this simple prayer na parang ikaw nag-pray. Sabi mo, Lord Jesus. Sige, sabi mo, Lord Jesus, today, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquities. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Be with me forever. Bless me with wisdom and that, that I may hear you more. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you follow that simple prayer, naniwala kung naborn again ka. Okay? Kung naborn again ka, please, I suggest you read your Bible, pray, listen to God, seek God. Amen. Atin ka ng church kung saan nagtuturo na si Jesus ay Panginoon. At naniniwala kung mighty things will happen in your life. Let's pray. Father again in heaven, thank you for this opportunity that we may learn how to walk victoriously all the days of our life. And I pray, thank you. Help us that we may always have Okay, the heart to seek you and listen to you. We know you know our situation. And we are sorry, Lord God, if sometimes we have neglected all these things. And we are so busy with many things. Okay, Lord, today, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we, by your help, Lord, Lord, we will seek you and we will listen to you and we will live continuously in that victory that you have promised for us in Jesus' name. At Lord, sa lahat na may sakit, Right now, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. To those who are in need, as they seek you, Lord, I declare in Jesus' name, provide all their needs. And Lord, sa lahat na may mga struggles, we claim, Lord God, by your anointing, Lord God, 
those yokes will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Thank you for this day, and we love you, we praise you, we honor you, and Lord, let this message fill our hearts by your precious anointing, your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for being with us. We are happy to share this great message of God to you. At sana po, eh, samahan nyo kami palagi. If you are watching right now in YouTube, please subscribe in our channel, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. Amen. And click that notification bell. Amen. At sana po, eh, you share this wonderful message of God. Amen. Para sa iba, maging victorious din sila. Amen. If you are in, in your Facebook, please follow. Amen. Our page there, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. And our church official page, Prayer of Faith Church Worldwide Ministries. Amen. Please share our video. Amen. And thank you for being with us. Kaya in behalf of Prayer of Faith Church Worldwide Ministry, ang ating senior pastor, uh, Reverend Dr. Alex Asuelo, ating spiritual director, Bishop Ross M. Asuelo, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Reverend Dr. Jane Asuelo, Pastor Jane Short, greeting you, a blessed day, and always remember that we love you, and Jesus loves you, and He is Lord, to God be the glory, hallelujah, praise God.